Hey everyone, it's Yash this side. I'm really excited to announce that I'm starting a full stack Flutter app development bootcamp series on YouTube. Uh, people often struggle to start with app development because of lack of resources. But don't worry, we have got a solution now. Let's discuss about this course and what makes it special. So, in this course, we'll be covering everything from the basics till the advanced. Either you are a college fresher or a working professional. It's for both. We will be covering everything, most of the core part which you will be ever requiring in Flutter app development. So we have made the roadmap as well. We'll see that in a while. So after watching complete playlist, I promise you, you can sit in any of the Flutter placement interview or any internship interview, and you will be go to go for any freelance project. So. Flutter, basically what is Flutter if someone don't know. Flutter is a framework for app development. It's a cross-platform framework, which means uh, using Flutter, you can create apps for both iOS and Android as well. Also, there's a very cool feature uh, that is for Flutter, but which is hot reload. You'll get to know in future as well, and it has a great UI components. So, yep, we'll see the roadmap now. Let's go towards the roadmap. So we'll be starting with the Dart programming language. Dart is a programming language used for Flutter app development. So it will be really cool and fantastic to learn Dart in this section because we'll see how Dart uh, compiles the language into the ORM AM code and how the memory allocation actually works in Dart. We'll see the object oriented nature of Dart we will see how it is a compiled language. We'll be covering everything in this part. Also, some of the basic syntaxes, like how to define a variable, how to define a function, how the, how the loops work. Uh, we'll, we won't be covering the entire Dart language in this section, since it might get quite boring if, if we cover everything in the first part. So we'll have the Flutter UI part as well. This is the most fun part, which beginners feel. Because in, in this one, we create the visual part in, in Flutter. For example, whatever we see in the screen, that is the UI. So we will be creating the UI, fantastic UI. We'll have different kinds of widgets. We'll learn different kinds of widgets, which are used. We'll see the real implementations. Then we'll move to the advanced chart part, which, in which we'll see the advanced syntaxes. The short syntaxes, which will make our work even easier. We'll see the object-oriented programming of in Dart. It's uh, abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance, what are classes, what are objects. We'll see in this part. We will see how the Dart knowledge actually helps in Flutter. Most of the people teach Dart language in the first part, and they will teach the Flutter in the second part. But they never say, never teach where the knowledge of Dart is being actually used in Flutter. I don't know why, but yeah, that is something. Uh, we'll be covering backend then. Since it's a full stack app development course, we'll be covering backend as well. We'll see how we make HTTP requests from our app to the backend, how we connect web sockets to the backend, how we make hooks to the backend. So for that, we need the knowledge of backend as well. So we'll be covering backend in this part. Then we'll see how to make HTTP request web sockets from our frontend, from our Flutter app to our backend, to the custom backend. Then we will see caching. What is caching? So you must have seen your apps getting bigger day by day. That is because of storing data in the local storage. So that is done by caching. There are different packages in Flutter, such as shared preferences, Flutter secure storage, Hive, Flutter keychain. So we will learn all of those in this part. Then comes the state management part, which is the most difficult, uh, which is assumed to be the most difficult part in Flutter. Uh, there are different packages in this one as well, uh, which is provider, river pod, blog. We'll be covering one of them and don't worry we'll make it very easier very easy for you uh, it will be really interesting to learn state management and don't worry it will be easier don't no need to worry at all 
uh, then we'll see animations how widget transitions so this is something cool as well then we will see CI/CD setup uh, how we make CI/CD setup we'll see in the later how what is CI/CD as well then we will see how we deploy our apps in play store and signing etc so this is the entire roadmap which will be following in the dart in the flutter journey it will be covering everything you don't need to worry at all and then yeah that was it i guess from for this video we'll be covering the later part in the next videos i hope you subscribe the channel and like this video and share it with your friends yeah that is it thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next one